I, I think you have to admit, in more recent years, um, DeFasco is still quite active in research, and they're doing some very interesting things. But they are now part of uh, a, a worldwide Mattel Arcelor DeFasco group, and uh, so they have you know less impact, I would say, uh, even locally. And uh, Stelco was sold to U.S. Steel, uh, basically some serious problems. So I would say that that's true of the mineral industry in Canada in general. There have been so many uh, purchases of Canadian-based companies by global firms. And I'm talking not just about the steel companies. I think aluminum, for example, has moved. Alcan Labs in Kingston no longer function. Uh, Stelco Research is gone. Uh, Inco, you, you, could, you can go right across Canada and name one metallurgical company after another, and they've been purchased and they've been, uh, in many cases, downsized. The research capabilities have been moved somewhere else. And so I see it as a, a, a very unfortunate set of developments. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't see how you can reverse that, what's has happened. Yeah. yeah. And has it affect the, the numbers in the, the, the it's, program? It's, it's affected the opportunities for our students, yeah. in Canada especially. Absolutely. I mean, where would you go? So I, I really see that as a, a very negative mm -hmm. uh, effect. And I could launch into a diatribe <laughs> against it, but you know, I, I, it really is, I, I think it's affected our students and their prospects, and in fact what we do.